Hey guys, welcome back. So today we're going to be making a round project. That's right, round in this mold right here because it's round. So basically what this is, is just a round cabochon mold. And I uh, can't exactly remember where I got it. I think it was BB Craft. I believe it was BB Craft. So we're going to be using these two because they're the same size and I want them to match. We're going to be doing a UV resin project, and I'm going to be using UV resin. So for the UV resin project using UV resin, I'm going to be using a variety of different colors, black, white, green, and orange. Why? Because I have green eyes, and orange is my favorite color. And we're going to be making eyeballs, two of them, with this. Old Faithful. So I'm starting with the black and I'm going to be making the pupils. So just put a little tiny bit at the bottom. And yeah, I don't get it quite in the middle, but that's okay. I'm not quite in the middle either. I'm just going to cure this for about 15, 20 seconds or so, just enough to hold it still. And then we can move on to the next step. Done phase of the project, which is going to be the color part. The iris, if you will. So for the first one, I'm going to be using green. Again, I have green eyes, so might as well, right? So might as well use it. And then orange is my favorite color. Green and orange. So I'm just putting a little puddle over the black. Just enough to cover the black and then give it a little bit of a ring around the outside. Or if you're as old as I am, you'll remember the commercial of a ring around the collar. So, have our green and our orange. And we're going to cure this one more time for about 30 seconds. Again, just enough to hold it in place. And I'm knocking things over, which you really don't want to do. But if you have to, go for it. I like knocking things over. It gives me a sense of accomplishment when I clean it up. Just putting away everything, all my colors, making sure the caps are back on, putting them back in the box so I can put them away. Totally cool. So, it's been about 30, 45 seconds or so, and it's done. So we're going to go in with our white. I'm not going to fill up the white all the way to the top because that's just a bit much. I don't want them that tall. Uh, but I am going to cover it most of the way up the mold. I leave probably about maybe two mil away from the edge. So you can see. Mm -hmm. Fill them up. And we do have a couple of little bubbles, but they resolve themselves here in a moment. And then once we cure this, I just threatened it with this pokey stick and it popped itself. All right. So I'm going to cure this for 90 seconds on the back. And then I'm going to flip over the mold and do it 60 seconds. See you in a minute. Almost done. So you're probably wondering, gee, Rev, what are you going to do with these cruel little eyeballs? Well, let me tell you. We're going to make hair clips. That's right. For my Canadian viewers, Barrette et cheveux vieux. You can see. Again, 90 seconds on one side, 60 seconds on the other. Let's pop them out. See what they look like. See if they look as cool out of the mold as they do in the mold. Boom. The answer is yes. green and orange. Now the reason, you're probably wondering, why are you putting eyeballs on hair clips? Right? Well, I have long hair and I tend to pull it up in a high pony on the back of my head most of the time because having long hair annoys me, but having short hair annoys me even more, so I keep it long. But since I wear it in a high pony, it uh, falls out in the back. So I figured I would make myself 
um, hair clips um, with eyeballs on them. So I will always have eyes in the back of my head. I'm just showing you here the uh, packaging. I got these from Michaels, the hair clips. So you have the information on them. Look, the little taggy is still on it. I didn't steal it because it didn't go off. Well, ha. Anyway, yeah, figured I'd have eyes in the back of my head, so I'd make myself some eyeball clips. So here they are, the clips. And these have the little disc already on them. That's what we're going to be doing. And to attach the eyeballs to the clips, I am going to be using my tried and true awesomeness of my Dollar Shrub Fix All Adhesive Super Glue. And uh, this stuff is awesome. I mean, if you if you need super glue or anything really, you know, just to glue stuff down. I would suggest this stuff right here. Fix all adhesive. Super glue. Dollar shrub. Buck 25. Not much of an investment. Lasts forever. It's fantastic. I love it. Get this stuff. It works. Had this too for a while now. So I'm just going to add a little dab to said round part of Clippy. The only thing with this stuff. Uh, this glue is if you're smell sensitive, it does kind of have a fragrance of the Mel Odors variety. So if you are sensitive to smells, you know, just a little word for you. But good stuff, I suggest. Now that our sticky stuff is on the back of our flat things, we're just going to stick on our eyeballs. Now, this glue doesn't dry as fast as regular super glue. You know, it does take a few hours it, uh, to fully cure the glue itself, but it works really, really well. And it is this, a, a seriously strong hold. I, I mean, I've used it to hold pieces of wood together. It's phenomenal. But I'm just getting those centered on there. And uh, making sure that they're covering up everything, getting off my excess glue that happened to squeeze out the bottom. And there they are. Look how cute those are. I love them. Woohoo! Eyes in the back of my head. That's right. Fun stuff. So, there we have it orange and green. At any rate, I hope you guys have enjoyed this. Just a cute, simple little Halloween hair clip project. Or if you're like me and you live the spooky life year round, just cute hair clips. Well, anyway, let me know what you think in the comments. I really do appreciate you being here. And I hope to see you again soon. Take care. Cheers.